from a young Tony Stark, but we're gonna be going into game one right now. Olimar, Pichu, starting on Town and City. All right, you see the smash attacks coming out, yeah. as you mentioned in the first place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't want this rat right in your face. Like, things end really badly, especially if you can get, like, that up smash started. You already can take out half of Pichu's stock with the amount of damage you can turn out. Oh, he already has. You have Miyatono sitting at 55, 72 of the lingering forward smash. Man, that is just good damage from the buzz. And, you know, Purple is going to be online after the next pick and does go away. And it's interesting to see already how much Neotono's approaches have adjusted, right? When the game first started, he just immediately leapt into the buzz and tried pressing buttons. He got, like, challenged for that, and now he's moving in, but slightly swerving out of the way to then whiff punish the attacks that the buzz tries throwing out. Uh, Neotono threatening, trying to run up to get that jab to send him right back off stage. But he finally does it with that back air instead. Oh, the buzz is going completely underneath the stage to get away. The up air is so huge there at the ledge. Neotono not ready for it. One yeah. good hit will go ahead and get this first stock. Something you always have to be cognizant against Olimar, especially on stages with those thin laps. But there we go. Purple back air taking out Neotono's first stock. Yeah, I mean, both of them were really just fishing for that back air to seal out the first blood. Uh, how you're going to set up the tone of the set. And again, the buzz, whenever he's able to get these grabs and he's latching on the Pikmin, he's getting so much damage out of it. And here he has the powerhouse lineup. How is Neotono going to go ahead and break the defenses through this? Man, I love that. Neotono did the up throw, right? And he waited specifically for the whistle armor to come out from the buzz and try to line up the thunder right afterwards. Just a little bit off, but that awareness of the whistle and how how important of a defensive option that is for DeBuzz is a good sign. Right there, that was just a mess up for the uh, Rar Thunder there, too. Very, very tight timing to pull that off. Yeah, I mean, he was still looking for the whistle, like you yeah. mentioned at that. Uh, go again, be able to go ahead and seal out this thought? Possibly. I think at 150, Dash Attack's gonna go ahead and do it. I was gonna look for a forward tilt. Not gonna be the case. <laughs> I kinda dig that. Neozone is standing on the other side of the screen while uh, DeBuzz has that invincibility and just, I'll just block your Pikmin and <laughs> not not try to deal with any of this nonsense. Yeah, no, he knows. He's not trying to get too aggressive onto him. I mean, he already had a couple purples online. He's not trying to get smacked up. Mm -hmm. There we go. The classic up smash, spot dodge, F smash. Yeah, as a yellow Pikmin, but still enough knockback. Pichu being such a light character, as we mentioned. This is the chance, though, for Neozone to make up that damage. He gets to buzz off stage, gets caught with the getup attack, but yeah, still keeps the pressure though. going, yeah. Back off stage? No, he went for a down air. I thought he was going to try to fall down with the back air like he did right there. All right, another neutral air, the buzz right back off stage. And I, I love how DeBuzz is mixing it up with his recovery. He's threatening as if he's going to continuously keep going to the opposite side to keep Neotono honest. He's like, all right, you need to stop where you are. I don't want you harassing me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Beautiful use of the down smash. Taking full advantage of the long-lasting hitbox there. And Neotono, so far in a very good position. Like, he got that whole stock from DeBuzz from launching him once off stage, right? And from there, it was just constant ledge harassment over and over again. So he's got a real potential if he survives this. Okay. Makes it on to okay. Yeah, that was actually very fortunate for Neotono. Because yeah. it was the red Pikmin that ended up coming out. Purple was the next one yeah. afterward. If, if DeBuzz was able to like whistle and change his lineup before F smashing, like that could have been it, but I don't think he had the time for it. Well, the yellow is just gonna immediately fall off. The Neotono has been playing from a deficit this whole game. Oh! Sending DeBuzz off stage. This is another opportunity. Neotono played that ledge game so well in the last stock, but this time DeBuzz just sneaks by with a just mid-height recovery. Yeah, he's expecting another low recovery out from DeBuzz. Oh, he ended up grabbing the ledge. I don't know if he wanted that. It looked as if he was going to try to threaten with a back air. There we go. The blue grab. It's all that DeBuzz needed. Yeah, even on Town and City, the bigger blast zones are not going to help out Pichu. Pichu, a weight class of his own. Yeah, the, the feather weight. I think, it's, I think it's less than feather. Like a is micro it? feather. Is it micro feather? I don't know. I, I, I just call it the Pichu tier. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> but, I mean, aside from... That, like, that last game, actually incredibly close. Neotono really showing the strengths of Pichu, as you mentioned before the set, the ability to really punish uh, Olimar offstage and put on a ton of hurt there. Just because the Pichu is so fast that he can almost cover, like, multiple options at once, you know? Even though he might not get, like, a killing option on everything, he can still, like, try to make one call out. If it's wrong, he still has time to chase down the option you actually did and harass you one last time with, like, one more little poke to send you offstage. 
I mean, Nitoto was doing a great job when, when he was getting the read on a lot of those neutral layers. He mm -hmm. continuously kept sending the buzz off stage. I mean, neutral layers are great, no, you're getting a lot of damage. It's just he couldn't find the back airs and he couldn't find those downers that really will seal out those stocks. So hopefully here in game two, moving on through the set, he can start taking out the buzz of stocks and, you know, get this a, a little closer. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going to Smashville, much smaller uh, blast zones along the sides. At a stage that it's a lot easier to keep your opponent in either the jiggle state or stuck in the corner because either they're landing on that platform or they got no stage behind them. And considering that's where uh, Niatono is already finding so much success, this will help keep him, you know, in the advantage against the buzz much longer. I like the awareness from the buzz already. He was off stage, didn't even commit to the recovery yet, but he tossed out two Pikmin just to switch up his lineup as well. He understands, like, all right, cool. I, you know, I did enough damage that I want to already. I, I want to go ahead and try to get this white, try to get this purple one. Mm -hmm. Us getting the spot dodge just in time, not even going to plug more Pikmin, just immediately recognizing how important it is to get the buzz the Neotone rather off stage and then punishing the neutral right afterwards. And that was all set up while he was off stage, G Pick. Yeah. Immediately, once he got Neotono in the air, plugged the Pikmin and immediately got that purple. Just just that recognition that Ooh. he had to keep up that pressure a little bit longer, even with a single Pikmin lineup, before he had time to plug Pikmin and really get maximum value is so good. The buzz, you know, just not hitting the button too early, getting completely away of the onset that Neotono wants to put on off stage. Once again, the whistle armor coming through. Neotono having a really hard time finding that, and it looks like, you know, without that thunder follow up after a grab, the grabs from Peach were way less scary. Having double purple on deck, that's what the buzz the ha guts to get set up the wall, so to speak. Step with the uh, yellow once again instead of being able to get to one of the purples for the uh, kill off the F smash jab block. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the second reset in a row where the purple was just right <laughs> behind him <laughs> <Yeah>. instead. <laughs> just unfortunate, yeah. However, right, the backer finally able to take out that first dog, but it might be a little bit too late right now. Hopefully, Neotono can go get a big conversion of a couple of Pichu's normals. Yeah, and he's still looking for a lot of these down tilts, but. To buzz completely ready for it, immediately either jumping or waiting until he sees that first down tilt and doing a get up attack. Right, he recognizes the threat of a low percent down tilt on the edge with Pichu because that leads into spikes so often. Oh, barely out the range, Nitono again looking for that down tilt, backing off. Guess I get him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, that was interesting. It looked as if. Um, the Buzz wasn't able to pull out the Pikmin because I, I, it looked like he, as he hit a button. There was just nothing in the back to throw out. Right, yeah. Every now and then the Pikmin desync a little bit, so they just don't listen to Olimar's orders. And it's so random that it's really hard to, to take into account as the Olimar player. Go, another opportunity. Oh, man, Yatono trying to do that same trick he did in game one. But the Buzz just timing his neutral getup just right to get around it. He's still caught in the air, and this is the, the issue for Yatono is converting those juggles into kills. Has been a real struggle for him. Yeah, but the buzz is completely committed to keep blowing that whistle understanding and letting Neotono know, you are not getting me with Thunder. You're going to have to catch me with something else to take this stock. Mm. Right now, it looks to be back air. I, I think that part of the idea of this natural pick is that it will kill much sooner because of the smaller side blast zones. Yeah, but you are not quite going to do it forward Whoa. and air. Oh, wait. Oh, my no! Wow, oh, with white? Yeah. I guess Peach was that light. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, wow, I, had I think that's the first time I've ever seen not a blue Pikmin grab throw kill. Yes, and of all the Pikmin, it's a white one. I, I, white that's is right. just Pichu, okay. White is right. All right. Stop, so in anyway. This, in this situation, G-Pick, am I wrong? Am I wrong, G-Pick? 2-0 against Neotono. Oh, damn right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but you know, liquid the buzz, you know, schmoving at the moment, so yeah. to say. I like it, and Neotono running it back to Smash. <laughs> I, I would never get I, I love the buzz so much. If he, he is just setting the toe to each game, like, all right, yo, check check this up, Smash. Check the down Smash. All right, now, now you know what I'm going to do the rest of the game and the rest of the set. <laughs> <laughs> The buzz just explodes each time. I mean, like, we, we start out within the first 30 seconds. Neotono's already at 60, 50, or 70. Right, right, yeah. I mean, a big part of that is the damage that Olmar just straight up pours out. But the buzz is a player, even though he has the stereotype of being like this camper who just like <gasps> wants to wall. He's dead. He got the whistle, and he thought he was going to be able to go ahead and air dodge to the stage. But the, the multi-hit of the forward smash clinked. 
and he ended up getting air dodge that put him off stage instead. Wow, that's so unfortunate for him. But given the percent that Neotono's at, still within the, the grass for him to just even it up with just the right read right now. He's looking like he's trying to anti-air. Or just toss out another match to chase down the roll. I mean, it still would have been an anti-air. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, purple going straight through the Thunder Toad. Actually, really good. I, I didn't even realize that the purple went completely past it. I know usually with the other Pikmin, they actually just eat the hit instead. Yeah, just yeah. So Olimar can continuously move. Yeah, Buzz looking kind of comfortable in the corner, slowly working his way out, but not getting impatient. Finds himself another start. Oh, he got the read on the roll. Not quite pulling the trigger on time. I mean, Niatano is doing I think, everything right, so it's pr pretty much. Like, he's getting in there. It's just he's not landing that down tilt or getting that grab when, De when he is in front of DeBuzz's face. Right, I mean, DeBuzz is playing so strongly around it, and it's it looks like it's hard to find, like, a contingency that kills DeBuzz just as well. Another oh. side view, the purples are just so menacing. so hard to deal with. And again, the multi-hits that Pichu possessed actually able to go ahead and clank out that up smash. It actually would have spelled death. Oh, down smash. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, that was again an f tilt angle if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I wasn't sure because it was a purple, but uh, and on Pichu, but yeah, ends up being enough. I mean, the purple has got full flowers on line too, so they're gonna be quite tough to go ahead and try to kill. The flowers give them more HP. I believe there's. The, I know they're stronger for. One, I I I'm not I, I think they just have more movement speed when they have a flower on. Okay. Oh, they definitely changed them from the last time I asked Foster. Oh, okay. Then never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Okay, guys, let us know. <laughs> down smash, yep, that is going to be it. It's always so scary to try to use down smash as Pikachu or Pichu, just because you run the risk of your opponent holding down and possibly getting that attack. Mm. Another white, yeah, and the moment that the white gets on Neotona realizes I have to nair out a shield to just get rid of this, otherwise I'm going to take lethal damage. As long as you're far enough away from the Olimars. Like, you don't want to do that straight in their face, you're going to get punished immediately. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's half the benefit of latching a Pikmin. It's not really the damage, it's forcing your opponent to, like, do something that you can then punish. Yep. All right, forward throw, sending Neotona right back off stage. To Puzz looking for that back air, but Neotono's final hit at his own back air actually able to connect. And this is the momentum that Neotono may need to get himself back into the set. I love the stall with the up B, but Neotono's ready for it, just takes his time on the platform and gets one more hit. Forcing DeBuzz off stage once again, and just taking his time, not able to get the platform, platform pickup though. But DeBuzz in with the lineup that he needs to go ahead and get stocks away. And as I say it, the back air going to connect a 3-0 from DeBuzz. The thing that was so impressive with that back air is Neotono had jumped and tossed out a jolt, right? And then from there, DeBuzz, it looked like DeBuzz was like, oh, he's going to try to start zoning me because we returned back to neutral and he wants to avoid losing it at all. And just off that one jump jolt, like Neotono was on his way jumping again and right there already DeBuzz was in his face, mm -hmm. hitting him with a purple back air. Oh. The fact that he recognized sort of the, the mentality switch that Neotono had just gone through with a single action and punished it immediately is so impressive.